to our parents. We said, well, don't, don't bother about them. Just sing to the Lord like you've been doing, and we'll let the parents watch and sing along So if they want to. But uh, it's a good evening, and we're glad to be here. So let's open with prayer, please. Let's pray before we begin. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much for Vacation Bible School. Thank you for uh, good enough weather that we could have it. Sometimes we gripe about the weather but because it's too hot, record-setting heat, but the weather wasn't so bad that we couldn't come out and get together and, and worship you and praise your name and sing songs and learn about you. And we're thankful that we could come here. We're thankful we could be here tonight. We look for your blessing. We ask for your blessing and for your presence, and we pray that uh, everything we do might glorify you, that your name would be praised uh, by everything that we say and do. And so we ask your blessing upon us this evening. In Jesus' name, amen. Hello. Um, so we're the North Barnabas team, and I just want to thank you guys for bringing um, your kids here to VBS. It was a lot of fun. Um, we did a lot of crafts and games and had some snacks, of course, and um, obviously learned about Jesus, too. Uh, our theme is The Amazing Desert Journey, um, where Jesus leads us home. And uh, so the first day, we talked about um, Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden um, and how uh, um, God gave them a command, and they broke it. And so um, they were sinners, and God had to kick them out of the garden. Um, and... Well, then he promised a Savior to save them from their sin, and that Savior is Jesus. All righty, we're just giving you a quick overview of what we learned this week. Um, the second day, we talked about God providing for the Israelites in the desert and how he provided manna and quail and water for them. Even though they were grumbling and complaining God because he still loved them, heard their grumbling and provided for their needs. And we also... Um, talked about how God provides for our needs. He provides for our daily bread, for the things we need, food and shelter and, and family and people that love us, but how, most importantly, he provided Jesus for us. And, yeah, that was the second day. And on day three, we learned about um, temptation, and we, we went through the story of when Jesus was tempted three times in the desert. And um, we also learned about how we have strength to resist temptation. And also, um, my class anyway, the little ones, we learned, or I learned that they were pretty strong physically. They could do some push-ups, so that was kind of fun. Um, but we learned that um, Jesus' strength is the strength that we really need, and he gives us the strength to resist temptation. And then uh, Wednesday, day four, we learned, about, uh, we learned about Jesus and how he died on the cross for us. We learned how he died on the cross, then he rose again from the dead, and he gave us a way to get to heaven through believing in him. So we learned that Jesus' son, or God's son, Jesus, leads us home to heaven. And then actually, I did yesterday too. Yesterday, the last day, we learned about, we talked about heaven a little bit. We learned, we heard a story about what heaven is kind of like. We heard a vision from, that John received from the angel. So then we, 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 we studied about Jesus this whole last week. And then we learned how you can get to heaven. So yesterday we learned what heaven is like a little bit. We got a small glimpse of, glimpse of it. And we also did some memory verses. I think we should do that now. Okay. We memorized five different verses. Well, five different verses <laughs> taken from the Lord's Prayer. So each and every one of these kids can say each and every one of those verses, right? From memory. That's what the point is. So we need to have five volunteers that think they're able to do a few spins or something you guys think you're ready to spin <laughs> okay you better pick them yeah you do whoa
Okay. <laughs> okay, and then we also spent some of our time singing songs, and we have a few songs we can sing for the parents today. So we'll start out with Kyle's class. Can you come up first and line up in the back on the top of the stage? And we'll go after Kyle's class. It'll be Courtney's <laughs> class. So if you were in Courtney's class, you come up after them. After they get up. All right, Courtney's class. And then, if you were in, oh, you guys can come a little, huh? If you were in my class, go up there. And last but not least, we have Krista's class. All right, you guys can come up too. You can use these stairs as a stage. Okay, so our theme for this week was Amazing Desert Journey, and so we have a theme song called Amazing Desert Journey. We'll start with that one.
Okay, and we have one more song, but we need, to we need to prepare for it first, right? This song, we need to have lots of room. Does everyone have enough room to spin around? Spin around with if you're big. Yeah, make, make yourself some room. So this song, this song talks about when God created the world, how God created everything, and he also created something that was kind of fun, the hippopotamus. So I'm going to go on this side. So we start out. How do you guys start the song out? That's right. I want to go normal speed first. Normal speed. Ready? Okay, you guys look kind of tired, but I think we can go faster. Let's go second, second speed, second level of speed. <laughs> you guys ready for this one? All right. Okay, start, just try that again. Okay, we have one more level of speed. Super sonic, super, super sonic lightning speed. This is the fastest you'll ever see anybody move in your life. So be prepared. You guys ready to move the fastest you've ever moved? Okay, start out with your So, when everyone is sitting down, I'll tell you what's going next. Okay, so, all throughout the week we had these special friends that would come out, usually two times a day, right? And last night was supposed to be their last time, but they were, they really loved these guys, so they wanted to come out one more time and do one more show for you guys. Yeah, they're sweet puppets. So, we gotta wake them up, though, because... I mean, they're, they're, they're on a tight schedule. I mean, they usually do like six days a week, and this is going to be day number seven, so. I think we should. You have it. I'm moving out of the room. Really quiet. I think we're going to have to, I think we might have to just say wake up puppets. Yeah. Ready? Okay. So everyone can help. We gotta wake up the puppets because I hear them snoring. I thought I heard something. Yeah, there they go, snoring back there. Alrighty, so on the count of three, we're gonna say, wake up puppets. Ready? One, two, three. Wake up puppets! Okay. They're really sleepy. They're really sleepy. Let's try one more time. One more time. Okay. Yeah. Ready? One, 
two, three. What's up, Puppet? Oh, good. Nobody's around. Now is my chance to call headquarters and find out my next secret mission. I'll raise the antenna up on my secret shoe radio. There. Now to place the call. This is Secret Agent Double O Alpha calling headquarters. Come in, Chief. This is Secret Headquarters. What are the passwords? E.T. Phone Home. I repeat, E.T. Phone Home. Very good, Double O Alpha. What is my next assignment, Chief? Double O Alpha, this is the most important assignment of your life. The fate of the entire world hangs in the balance. This is a big one, Double O Alpha. I'm ready when you are, Chief. Lay it on me. This is too important for radio transmission. I must make sure you understand perfectly what you are supposed to do. So, how do I get my instructions? You are to meet Secret Agent Double O Omega on the corner of Secret Street and Confidential Boulevard, where you will get your next assignment. Confidential Boulevard, eh? Okay. Well, got you, Chief. I'm on my way. This is headquarters, signing off. Over and out. Well, here I am on the corner of Confidential Street, or wait, wait, what was that, Confidential Boulevard? Oh, okay, that's what it is, okay. I'm on Confidential Boulevard, but where is my contact? Aha, now there's a secret agent. If I ever saw one, I'll try the password on him. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah? Fuzzy Wuzzy was a bear. What? What are you talking about? Some kind of nut? A guy can't even walk down the street anymore without running into a crazy person. Uh. <laughs> Excuse me, did I hear you say something about a bear? Uh, I said Fuzzy Wuzzy was a bear. Fuzzy Wuzzy had no hair. <gasps> fuzzy Wuzzy wasn't fuzzy, was he? Oh. Right, uh, and you're Double O Alpha. Oh yes, you're your secret agent Double Omega. It's a great disguise. Well, thank you. Are you ready to receive, receive your assignment? Yes, what is it? First, I have to give you the secret message. Listen very closely. Okay. Everyone have sinned and cut themselves off from God, but Jesus was sent by God to seek and save the lost and bring people back into a right relationship with God. Everyone who confesses his sins and receives Jesus as a savior has a brand new life here on earth and will live forever with God. Got that? Got it. I'll guard the secret with or the secret with my life. No one will ever know. Wait a minute. Your assignment is to tell everyone this message. What? But I can't be a secret agent if I'm telling everybody the secret message. There are no secret Christians. Are you a follower of Jesus? Yes. Well, that means you are a disciple. And if you are a disciple, that means you have to teach and preach and spread the message, the gospel. That's your assignment. Tell the message to the whole world. That's every Christian's assignment. So you won't be working alone. Well, but how will I do it? Any way you can. Tell them personally. Through books, tracks, television, movies, posters, bumper stickers, cards, letters. Shout it out of the rooftops. I understand some people even spread this message through puppet shows. Oh, I'll do it. Good. Remember, the fate of the world hangs in the balance. Good luck, double O alpha. All right. Well, if I'm going to spread the gospel, I might as well start right here. Let's see, I, I know. I'll turn my shoe radio into a loudspeaker system. <coughs> testing, testing. All right, everybody, give me your attention. You must hear this message. Jesus is Lord and Savior. Through him, we have forgiveness of sins and eternal life. He answers our prayers. He will be our closest friend. And now that you've heard the message, spread it around. We can reach the whole world if we work together. This is Secret Agent Double O Alpha, over and out. All right, should we try and answer some questions from that? Okay, so Double O Alpha was kind of confused. He thought that he couldn't share the message, right? Because it was this supposedly this secret message, but. Yeah, yeah. So what message was he supposed to share? 
Yeah, he was supposed to share the message of Jesus. And are there are there secret Christians? Can you be a secret Christian? No, you don't want to be though. You want to tell your friends about Jesus and what he did for us on the cross. Yeah, you want to tell them about our Savior. Exactly right. Exactly right. Thanks. Alrighty. So, while wow, I'm waiting for my team to come come back, there they come. Okay. Like I said, uh, yeah, we had a great week with your kids. Thanks for letting us teach them and get to know them and get to be friends with them. It was awesome. Um, this is what we're doing all summer. This is our fifth week of teaching uh, Vacation Bible School, and we have five more weeks to go. So pray for us, and um, yeah, it was a great week. We had a lot of fun. And do you guys want to find out who won, or do you? Yeah. No? We don't. No? Yeah. Okay. So this week we had two challenges for these guys. The first challenge was to bring, I can't remember. It was, they were supposed to bring 13 friends, and they like shattered that goal in three days or two days. They, uh, we set the goal way too low. They brought a ton of friends. It was awesome. So for doing that, we rewarded them with they each will get a water balloon to throw at us tonight. So they're pretty excited about that. The second challenge that they haven't found out who has won yet, we took an offering this week to go towards world missions. We had a missionary story every day, and so we talked about different missionaries around the world. But we also talked about how you don't have to go to another country to be a missionary. You can be a, con you can be a missionary wherever you are. And so um, they're going to find out who won, girls or boys. So as soon as, as this gets, it gets loaded. Okay. Drum roll, drum roll? Oh yeah, let's get a drum roll. <laughs> Might be kind of long. <laughs> Might be a long drum roll. It's not working. This might not work. Okay, it's not gonna work. We're going old fashioned. Okay, with the score of. Which one is no, it? right here, right here. Is that? Okay, right. someone else read this for me. <laughs> All right. So, boys, you brought in $55.66. Really good job. However, the girls brought in $68.73. Which means each one of you girls gets an extra water balloon to throw at us. After the program, outside, and there are rules, <laughs> like no aiming for the head. Uh, is that right, right away. Okay. And I think that's it, right? No, no. Yeah. All right. Um, Brother John, you want to come up and uh, close us? Well, thanks a lot for all your work you've done. Thank you kids for coming and making it fun for everybody. Everybody had fun, I think, right? Even, even the adults. We had a really good class, too. It was, a, uh, it was maybe the most liveliest week of discussion I've ever had at any adult group, so it was good. Um, after this, there's spaghetti dinner. If you'd like to stay and eat spaghetti, there's plenty of back there, so we invite you to do that. Uh, also, in the course of the week, we needed some van repairs, so we're going to try to help the Bible College out a little bit. And we have, there's an offering basket in the back or someplace on the table. Yeah, as you go out toward the door, there's an offering basket. If you'd like to contribute to the van repair, uh, it did get fixed, but if you'd like to contribute to the cost of that, uh, you can just drop an offering in the basket out there. So let's close with, we'll let this be our table prayer, and um, then we'll go eat. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for a good week. Thank you for Vacation Bible School. And thank you most of all for sending Jesus to be our Savior who died for our sins and rose again from the dead so we could live forever with you in heaven. We ask you to bless our meal this evening and let's pray together the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, 
as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Let's do that after. After? No, you can do it now? Okay, go ahead. All right. Okay.